Okay guys, so before I start this video off, I'm just going to say that this is a sponsored video. I am being paid for this. However, I would not bring this to you if I did not 100% stand behind the product that I am showing you guys. Okay, with that being said, let's jump right into the video. Hey, what is up all you do-it-yourselfers? My name is Dylan Taylor. This is Dylan's DIY Workshop, and today I bring you the iRatchet Screwdriver by King Hurt. So opening it up, we have uh, this nice little box. I like the size of this box. It just, it feels nice. It's got the features on it. Ergonomic aches and pain relief, universal flexible palm positioning, and elastic torque assist. So I was reading up on this and it's actually a lot cooler than you might think a screwdriver could be. So inside the box, we have this right here. The first thing that I notice is just the, the way that you hold on to the screwdriver. It's like this, almost like a, a tap that you'd have on the outside of your house, like a, a hose, versus a, a regular screwdriver like this, where it's kind of a sideways motion like this, where you, you have your, your hand cranked down sideways so that you can actually turn. This is just one motion with your whole arm rather than it all being in your wrist. So in this video, I'm going to compare this screwdriver to uh, another screwdriver, just a stubby screwdriver, as well as the closest competitor that I've used and that would be a screwdriver that's a stubby screwdriver but has its own bits in it. So that is one thing to keep in mind with this screwdriver and that is that it does need bits. Now the cool part about that, the cool part about that is it uses the exact same bits and exact same type of mechanism that an impact driver uses. And so you can go from using your impact driver to using this tool where you just pop a bit right into it and it's got a collar on it that locks, the bit's not gonna come out of the screwdriver. That's much nicer than this other unit here where the bits don't stay in and the driver bit won't stay in either. It's just a little tiny magnet in there. I honestly, I love the quick release collar and the locking mechanism. I, I think that that's just over the top. It's absolutely awesome. So the next thing that I notice is this collar right here that can change from the direction that you want it to ratchet, whether you want to loosen, whether you want to tighten, or if you just leave it in the middle, and, it's, and then it's just fixed. It'll go either way. The next thing I notice is if I look down the end of it, at the end of the screwdriver here, I see this elastic material. And originally when I first grabbed it, the whole thing felt rigid. Upon further review, I noticed that it does pivot. One of the things that it does meant on its box, and I believe that's a patented design, would be this design right here that allows it to pivot on up to a 30 degree angle and still ratchet. I am going to test all three of these on this piece of wood that I've pre-drilled holes in. And I'm just gonna put a screw into each one of these holes. Go. So now I'm using the red Robertson bit for all of these screws. Let's go, we'll start off with fuller screwdriver. It's just a regular stubby screwdriver. I believe every tool belt in Canada probably has one. So we're just gonna start off here. And one thing I do notice like already from using this, this stubby screwdriver is I could feel it up in my arm right here. It's really small to hold on to and I can't get it super tight, but it's on there. Now the next, we're gonna try the other stubby screwdriver that has all of the bits in. Same screw, same hole. And uh, apparently that was the wrong bit, so give me a second. Uh, it's, I don't even know if I have, there isn't even a red Robertson bit in here. There's only green, because that's too small. Scrap this, it doesn't even have doesn't even have a right bit to borrow this one. It's the exact same motion twisting of my wrist. It's a little bit easier because this one's a little bit bigger in diameter, but at the same time, uh, the bit felt like it was gonna fall out every single time I turned the screw. Now this one, I just love that ratcheting sound, that's so cool. Okay, so we will set it so that we can tighten. First, we're gonna have to get it in there. So, because it wasn't in the wood enough to, to ratchet, I'm just gonna do this now it, now it is and that's already just the fact that I don't have to move my hand I'm not gripping and twisting it's just so much nicer and then there's the fact that there's that rubber on the side the rubber what it does is that that's what they mean by it allows more, more torque because as you twist it it builds up that energy and then once it starts to move all that energy is returned to the screw rather than it all being on your wrist it's hard to t see but you can still you can still use this with the whole handle kind of tilted right over. So let's try that. So my hand is on a completely different angle than the wood is. And 
Look at that. I, I didn't even notice that. It didn't even start to get super stiff. I just over tightened that screw. So that is, that's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. It's just so much, so much different. With a regular screwdriver, sometimes there would be this grip method where you crank on it like this. You're still using your wrist. Uh, this other screwdriver, the, the eye ratchet, you can hold on to it like that. It does feel a bit awkward to hold on to it like that. So I think it's a, it's a matter of you have to put that in your palm to twist or in your fingers to twist. It's not really something that you can grip onto sideways. But I do love that you could just use any bit that'll fit an impact driver. It's absolutely incredible. Really impressed. And being that you could put any impact driver bit in this, uh, I have this auger bit. Have you ever seen a stubby screwdriver with an auger bit? I think that's awesome. I'm gonna try to drill a hole with this, but first. Now we've got that piece of wood mounted on the table. I'm going to try to drill a hole with an auger bit on a palm screwdriver. Have it set to tighten and look at this, holy crap. Okay, this definitely is an arm workout. This isn't what this is meant for but I'm just showing the versatility of this. Look at this. And I can even use it on an angle. That is, that's awesome. That is absolutely incredible. So this is all real time. I am not speeding this up at all. This is just mowing through this. How many people can say that? We just drilled a half inch hole through a piece of two by two with an auger bit. I'm keeping this thing forever. That is absolutely incredible. You guys have me at that. Holy crap. So this is just absolutely awesome. I stand by these guys 100%. I'm going to use this a whole bunch and I think it's incredible that you can use an auger bit to drill a half inch hole with a two by two. I, I don't know when I'll ever need to do that as I have an impact driver, but if there was ever a time where this wouldn't fit and the only thing that could fit would be this, this stubby handle, if there was a time that this is the only way it could happen, I could do it. I could get it done. It would happen. I will leave Amazon links in the description if you guys would like to pick yourself up one of these. I definitely think that you guys should add this to your collection. It does help with arthritis and bad hands it doesn't have as much stress or strain behind it now obviously if you're going to be drilling a half inch hole through some pine with an auger bit expect there to be some uh the tension on your arm definitely not the easiest thing to do but at the same time it was incredibly easy compared to what i thought it was going to be so again like i said there will be a link in the description that you could check those out at and that is going to be it for this video guys i want to give a huge thank you to all of my patreon supporters for supporting me and allowing me to keep creating videos and a special thank you to randy robinbird and mike Ma up here on the wall randy robinbird and mike maxwell they have their names on the wall as well as they get their name said at the end of every single video because they are the top tier patreon supporter if you're interested in supporting my channel or the things that i do or want your name said in every single video then patreon is probably a great place to go there will be a link up in the top right corner as well as description as always thank you guys for all the support and that is going to be it for this video guys if you guys are new please subscribe if you're already subscribed please share this video with a friend and as always if you enjoy the video give it a big old thumbs up we'll see you guys all next time peace out